Hello, I am Steven O'Donnell and this is my FMO demo reel for the GameCube 2. This demo reel was created while attending the School of Video Game Audio taught by Leonard Paul. Throughout this video I will be detailing my sound design, interactive music and implementation process. For this video I will also be going into detail for the weapons, monster sounds, ambient slayers and FMOD features which made this demo reel possible. Before starting this project it was important to keep a record of my progress and any changes that needed to be made which is why a detailed asset list was created in order to ensure that nothing was missed and all important information was recorded. As the player's character is a robot, I wish to reflect this sonically. To achieve this, I use a vocoder effect with my own voice recordings for the jump, land, pain and death sound effects. I also created several layers for when the player moves. This was achieved by using the mechanical sounds from games consoles which were then processed with pitch and modulation effects added. The player's footsteps were also separated into multi-sound modules for the heel and toe layers with volume and pitch randomization added. This prevents the footsteps from becoming repetitive to the player. During this project I created detailed sound layers for the pistol, shotgun, rifle, Launcher. Many gun. And rocket launcher. The weapon sound effects were separated into three main categories: the main body of the sound, mech layer for the high end, and punch layer for added impact. I've also implemented bullet sounds for the minigun and shell casings for the shotgun. The weapon sounds have also been aligned with a video recording to ensure the sound effects are well timed with the weapon animations. The weapon sounds were achieved by using a mixture of my own recordings, my personal sound library, plugin effects and other available sound libraries. Each weapon component was also given multiple variations with volume and pitch randomization to ensure that all weapons were satisfying to hear during continuous playback. The Ratamahata is a large reptilian creature and I wanted the vocals to sound intimidating to reflect this. To achieve this, I added the sound of an elephant to the high end, my own voice to the mid-range frequencies and a lion roar to the low end. The Rhino is a small robot which is lower in threat to the Ratamahata. I decided to use a similar vocal technique, but instead using recordings of my dog for the high end. This approach is used to tell the player sonically that the rhino is lower in threat level. I also modulated the mid-range frequencies to give a powering down quality to when the rhino dies. For the map, I applied reverb and ambient slayers into the game's code to add immersion to the player's experience. Positional reverb was also applied to the game via the FMOD snapshot feature with different reverb sounds given to each floor of the map. As the map is a haunted castle, I decided to use ghost ambience and wind noise to add tension for when the player explores the map. This map also contains lava in the lower levels. I achieved the sound effect by cooking various kitchen ingredients on a hob and pitching down the recording. For the music, I decided to make an intense drum loop to keep the player on edge. Next, two audio layers were added which I can as the player's health doors. An alarm sound effect and low pass filter snapshot which is connected to the SFX group bus was applied to the health parameter. This activates when the player is close to death. All these audio elements tell the player to run and find health pickups. The 
game audio was also given a final polish by mixing the audio in real time with the F-Mod Connect to Game feature. Sidechain compression was added to the music group bus, which is controlled by the SFX group bus. This technique, also known as ducking, allows the sound effect to cut through the music and allows all important audio information to be heard. This was my F-Mod demo.